greatest for me. Yes. For the help of his countenance, 
Galatians, the sixth chapter, uh, verse number nine. And it reads, and let us not be weary in well doing. For in due season we shall be if we faint not. I'll read that verse again. And let us not be weary in well doing. For in due season we shall be if we faint not. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading of his words. That it may abide deep within our souls, hearts, and minds. I'd like to use for the subject one this afternoon, man, as a word of encouragement, still, I thirst. Still, Still, I thirst. 42nd Psalm says, As the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. We're living in a world where so many people are giving up on God. We're in a time where the Bible said in the last days there were going to be a great falling away. We're living in them times right now. Man, many people that were standing on the wall have begun to take down. Many people that have held up the blood-stained banner begin to fold up and throw in the towel. But somebody still needs to be thirsty. Says that the heart, the deer, pants and then longing for water. That a, a, a deer can smell water from at least 30 yards away. That's at least. It also says that a deer will travel up to three miles a day, sometimes twice a day, for water. Because it recognizes the necessity of water. Water is vital to our system. Without that, Praise God, we are not as healthy as we need to be. Yeah. What is necessary to flush your system. Yeah. Yeah. This is the heart pending after the water book. Yeah. The psalmist said, so pandeth my soul after thee, O God. Yeah. Yeah. Recognizes the need for more uh, of God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, so many things transpire throughout the course of a year. Amen. So many things have affected people throughout the course of a year. Amen. Praise God. We thank God for the solid foundation. Yes. But still, opposition comes. Yes. Uh, opposition doesn't care how solid your foundation is. Opposition uh, doesn't care how much word you know. Struggle don't care about your pedigree in life. Struggle has no name, no face. Uh, struggle is a struggle. But I'm so glad that there's somebody, praise God, that made up in their mind that they're still hold on. In this world, many people uh, look at salvation as somebody just telling me what to do. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, the Bible is basic instructions before leaving earth. Yeah. If I can get the basic instructions, I'll be prepared to leave the earth. 
so many people back up. My God in Christ is trying to draw them closer to him. Uh, here the psalmist said, my soul thirsted for God. After all I've been through, I, I still thirst. Uh, I'm not talking about something in the world that I'm longing for. I'm not longing for a temporary fix. I'm not longing for a high. I'm not longing for a drink. I'm longing for something from the Lord. I'm longing for more. My God, these 35 years on today, I just want to encourage somebody to hold on to God's unchanging hand. My God, in spite of what it looks like, uh, you got to stay thirsty. In spite of what it feels like, you got to maintain a yet constant thirst. You know, after being outside for such a period of time, my God, you get thirsty. In the hot sun, uh, you just get thirsty. My God, you need something to cool your, your, your throat. My God, something to cool your system down. But there are some people that go, uh, pray God, they grab them a nice cold soda. My God, I need me a Pepsi. Uh, back in the day growing up, my God, the old folks that said, go get me a Pepsi and a bag of peanuts. God, and in the hot summer day, they take them salty pretzel and dump it right in that bottle of Pepsi. Let all that salt and sweetness get all mixed together. Yeah. Man, I know what I'm talking about, nigga Parker. My God, they get that bottle of Pepsi. And they stand out by the church and drink that bottle of Pepsi. My God, some might get them a bottle of juice. Yeah. They get some nice cold fruit punch. Who yeah. cool my thirsty down. Yeah. But my God, you drink that down with all the sugar and things in it. And a few minutes later, my God, I got to go back to the store. I need something to drink. My God, I, I still need something to drink. My throat uh, is still dry. But you don't understand when you get a little bit of sugar in your system, that sugar triggers something in your brain and in your system to, to make you want more sugar. My God, so what happens? Somebody said, you need to get you a bottle of water. My daughter, she can't stand water. I don't like water myself too much. But my God, I found the necessity uh -huh. in yeah. drinking yes. water. Yeah. God, you get that little bit of water and you drink that up and what happened? Uh -huh. Now your thirst has been quenched. Yes. What are you talking about, preacher? My God, you try everything else. Uh -huh. uh, in the midst of storms, in the midst of the heat uh -huh. of the day, in the midst of opposition, yeah. you try something else, yeah. my God, to come and meet your need. Uh -huh. Some people try drinking other things. They try alcohol, my God. That don't meet the need. Some people try to talk to a good friend of mine and that don't meet the need, my, my God. But somebody said, I had a little talk with Jesus. I told him all about my trouble. My God, and how you know he came and answered me right away, my God. Yeah, he came and did something that no do. He came, my God, and did something in my spirit that nothing else could satisfy. Anybody grateful for Jesus on today? God, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for him on today. My God, you know you might have to go through a little more something. You may have to battle something else, but my God, still, ah, you better be thirsty. My God, I know that trouble comes, but saints of God, God. Is there anybody in here that got a made of mind that they'll hold on to God? I said my soul thirsted for the living God. My God, there's something that needs no substitute. I don't need something that's temporary, but I need something that's eternal. My God, as we close out these 35 years, as we embark on 36 years,
Jesus.